So, so iodine, right? All right, so I've done a funny skit to open every nutrient so far in the Dr. Greger series, and today is iodine. I-O-dine. I-O-U-dining. That's awful. Ooh, anagrams. Okay, let's see. Die, ion. I die? No. Ode, I, N. Ode, N, I. Iodine jokes. Chemistry cat, chemistry cat, chemistry cat, chemistry cat, chemistry cat. I'll ask Mike. How do you make iodine funny? Are you asking me something specific or just saying anything about iodine? Like, I know dine on iodine or iodine anagrams to IE. I didn't know. His anagrams are always better than my anagrams. Oh, I'm late to filming. I'm so not ready. Something funny. Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan, and welcome to another vegan nugget. Today's video is the second to last in the Where Do You Get Your Vegan Nutrition series with Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org. Now, iodine may not be on your radar immediately when going vegan. It's a non-metallic trace element most people think of as a pre-surgical topical application for which it is used. But dietary iodine is key to the synthesis of thyroid hormones in the body. The top sources of iodine are from foods from the sea, followed by iodized salt, milk, and eggs. So let's hear from Dr. Greger on how to ensure you have adequate iodine levels when going vegan. And just a note, this video will not be covering the concerning issues surrounding nori production and seaweed farming in general. That will be a whole other video. Today, we're focusing on the nutrition. Another nutrient of concern to vegans and especially people with thyroid conditions is iodine. And you know, a lot of people you, you hear that it's in seafood and salt is basically the two that you, you hear from. So could you speak a little bit to the role of iodine in a plant-based diet? Sure, iodine is important for thyroid function. Um, it's found predominantly in the ocean and variable amounts in the soil around the world. Um, but you know, kind of depends where you're growing your food. And so back in the 1920s, um, they iodized the salt supply. And so if you do, um, so you just kind of make sure everybody gets enough. So if you do use salt, if you do add salt to your food, use iodized salt, not sea salt or mineral salt or crazy Himalayan purple salt or whatever. Um, uh, it contains about 20 times less iodine than iodized salt. Um, but of course, uh, we shouldn't be adding salt to our foods at all. Sodium is considered the uh, th um, third leading uh, dietary killer um, in the United States. Um, uh, now, some uh, now uh, so uh, so people can get it from seafood because it's found in the ocean, um, and also uh, people that drink dairy milk. Um, uh, there's actually not it's not in the milk itself, but it's using these iodine-containing disinfectants. They use to uh, what are called teat dips to 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 prevent mastitis. Um, they uh, they dip the cow's teats in an iodine-containing solution like betadine, and some of that iodine then leaches into the milk, and so uh, just that disinfecting process um, can uh, be a source of iodine for milk drinkers. Um, but uh, but for people that are eating healthier diets. Um, uh, I would encourage people, so you may be getting all the iodine you need just from eating land plants, depending on where the plants are grown, but I would encourage people to develop a taste for sea vegetables, kind of the dark green leafies of the sea. Um, uh, and so, for example, a uh, half teaspoon of dulse, for example, or arme, um, uh, is all the iodine you need for the day, it was 150 micrograms. Um, and, you know, dulse uh, is just, the, the, you can get in these little little purple flakes, it's pretty, it's not very seaweedy, 
Um, and so you could sprinkle a half teaspoon on whatever you're eating, and you had you wouldn't even know it's there, and get all that you need, and all sorts of other good, wonderful trace minerals. Um, I would not, however, encourage people um, to eat hijiki or hijiki, um, which has too much arsenic, um, and kelp actually has too much iodine. So I would encourage. It's very difficult to actually get to to get your iodine from kelp just because it's so concentrated you 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 need to take such small amounts and so with those two aside I encourage people to eat sea vegetables and there's a lot of great seaweed snacks on the market now so basically like you know nori sheets uh, like uh, the sushi sheets and they're flavored varieties now unfortunately most of them have added oil and salt but you can take yourself you go get a big thing of nori sheets. Um, and what I like to do, I mean, there's lots of ways you can season them. I kind of paint them, brush them with uh, uh, pickled ginger juice from like pickled ginger for sushi. Um, and then just sprinkle some wasabi powder on it, which is a, actually a cruciferous vegetable. It's a, it's a horseradish. Um, and then uh, and just re-crisp it in the oven at about 300 degrees for five minutes or something. And you get a really delicious snack. And so you can just sit there on the couch eating... You know, seaweed snacks, um, no added sodium, and I mean, you're as a snack, you're eating dark green leafy vegetables, like eating kale chips or something. You can't get healthier than that, and uh, you get all the iodine you need. Um, um, and the only you you do not want to get too much iodine, so you wouldn't want to go over like um, a, a tablespoon of the dulcer RMA every day, or more than ten sheets of the nori. Um, uh, seaweed uh, every day because you can actually get uh, too much thyroid function. Um, uh, and uh, uh, the only other uh, thing is uh, it's particularly critical during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, so I agree with the American uh, Thyroid Association's uh, recommendation that all women, regardless of what they eat, um, uh, get as part of the multivitamin regimen 150 micrograms of iodine every day. I hope you enjoyed hearing from Dr. Greger on this. Our actual iodine requirements are incredibly low, with our entire lifetime requirements fitting within one teaspoon. However, iodine deficiency is prevalent in some countries where there are either low sea and soil levels of iodine and or if one is eating a purely refined foods diet. Of course, diets high in iodized salt in fortified foods can lead to iodine toxicity so it's best to stay under the upper limit of 1,100 micrograms a day. And just a personal comment on the iodine content of milk. If your food gets its nutrients from teat dip, it may be time to reevaluate your dietary practices. If you want to track your own iodine, check out Chronometer. Just be sure to go to your profile and minerals tab to select iodine to be displayed. Because of the variation of soil and sea iodine content around the world, standard iodine content for most foods does not exist. However, if you are taking an iodine supplement or dulse, as Dr. Greger spoke of, you can create your own supplement entry in Chronometer and see its impact on your nutrition report. It's totally free to use and pretty fantastic, so much so that they're actually sponsoring this video to get this vital information out to you. Be sure to use the link in the video description below to go make your free profile. I don't get any money when you click on it, but it lets Chronometer know that I'm good at pimping their product. Which I may have just completely negated by using that phrase. If you enjoyed dining on this iode of a nugget, give the video a big thumbs up and share it around to spread the nutritional truth. If you're new here, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down there for more awesome vegan content every Monday, Wednesday, and some Fridays, and not to miss out on the final installation with Dr. Greger. You can find the playlist with all of the videos so far in the info card sidebar and in the description below. If you want to help keep Bite Size Vegan educating, check out either of the support links in the video description below, and for perks and rewards for your support, just click the Nugget Army icon there or the link in the description for more info. You can also find it in the info card sidebar. And hey, check out some of my related videos while you're here. Now go live vegan, and I'll see you soon. What's the show that cesium and iodine love watching together? CSI. I tried to tell a joke about iodine and starch. I got no reaction. Hey.
you must be made of uranium and iodine because all I can see is you and I. Where were these yesterday? I'm on fire.